advice do you have for someone who's really interested in this field and wants to work in the creative marketing side of things, but uh, maybe is kind of nervous, like I don't have experience, no one's taught me this, like how can they, how can they approach their career in, in different roles? Um, I mean, I think you just have to go in and, and try. And I think you just have to, um, you know, somewhat have the confidence, but also, um, you know, the, the humbleness to really know, hey, maybe I don't know this, but I, I believe in myself and I'm gonna ask lots of questions. I think that's, that's a really big one. I don't think I asked enough questions um, when I was kind of coming up and I encourage everybody on my teams to just like ask a ton of questions. You don't know something because there's no reason you should know it because you either haven't done it or more likely haven't been taught it. So I think asking lots of questions and I think just jumping in and trying, you know, I think if you're a capable human and you have an excitement and a passion for something, you're going to be able to figure it out. And you may figure it out in a very different way than I would figure it out, but it doesn't mean one is better or worse. They're just kind of different interpretations. And I think that's amazing. Yeah. I, I love too what you're saying about questions because you're afraid to ask a question because you're like, oh, they're going to think I'm less smart. I don't want to feel like I don't know it. So I'm just going to pretend. And it's kind of that fine line between, yes, you want to fake it till you make it, but you also don't want to be like dumb and then not get resources that are readily available to you because you're like, oh, I just have to fake it all the way. Um, you kind of have to like first take in all the help you can. And then once you have all of that and then you fake it for like the rest of it. Um, so I think that's an important step. Some people totally. forget. Yeah. And you realize, you know, I think you realize as you grow in your position and you get more senior, you realize actually the person asking the question is the most senior person in the room. It's not the person who knows the answers. And, and, and I think that realization and that confidence just comes from being there, but it's almost like, oh, you've just reversed the entire thing. So the person asking all of the questions is really kind of the most, uh, in my opinion, kind of senior, senior thought leader in that space. Yeah, absolutely. And, and on this, on this topic of kind of, uh, um, for like new people or, or your hires trying to, to get their foot in the door in the creative field, you particularly are known for having a great eye for talent and putting together outstanding creative teams. So what are you looking for in new hires? And do you have any advice for young women right now looking for work? Yeah. I mean, I think, I think one of the really interesting things now this time, and I try my best to, you know, Anybody that reaches out and do time, kind of connect with them and have a conversation. And I'm always kind of open to do that. Um, I think it's just about, you know, at this point, you can kind of reach anybody, right? We can, we can reach anybody through LinkedIn and Google and kind of figuring it out. You can get anybody's information. And so I think do that, but realize, you know, there's a human on the other end and they're probably very busy. And it's about more than anything, kind of cutting through to take your passion and your inspiration for what you want to do with them or a role there or whatever it might be and trying to convey that. So I think going beyond the standard, hey, you know, love your company, here's my resume, but doing something that's, you know, a bit outside of that thinking and that makes you kind of stand out in a very heartfelt and honest and true way, um, I, th I think is to me the things that stand out, the people that have reached out to me and the things that kind of have, have stood out, you know put your resume on a skateboard or do whatever it is that's, you know, going to be something that's going to be a little bit different and also speaks to both who you are and also, you know, in a very connected way to whatever opportunity you're, you're looking for. Especially right now with COVID and how you look on any job application on Indeed and it has like 200 applicants, uh, all of those look the same when they're just a resume and a cover letter. So figuring out ways to differentiate yourself is more important now than ever. Yeah. Yeah. And I think just reach out to somebody to talk to them, you know, Hey, I'd like your advice or I'd like 10 minutes or I'd like, you know, I think um, generally, I think good people will connect to that. And honestly, if they're not going to respond in due time, then I think they're probably an a-hole that you probably don't want to work with anyway. So there you go. Perfect way to look at it. If you get rejected, you don't want them anyway. <laughs> So on, on, on career discovery, you mentioned to me before that you feel like career discovery is more about finding what you don't want to do more than it is about finding what you want to do. Uh, so can you talk to us a little more about what that means? Yeah, I mean, I think it's not to be kind of a Debbie Downer because I'm a super optimistic kind of inspired person. So I think it's always about, you know, I'm stoked off of this or I'm excited about this or I, I see kind of the the um, passion points and the excited pieces, but I think really looking back, you know, I think we come out of school and we go, you know, our major is so important of what we do and it's gonna connect us. We want that first job to be amazing and to be everything. And just the reality is it's not, our careers like our lives are kind of the self-discovery and you kind of have to go through. And again, much like life, like the parts that are the hardest are where you learn the most. 
And so going in and being like, and I, and that's, you know, so much of where I am now and what I'm doing now is a culmination of the experiences that I've had. And, and I've learned so many more lessons in the negative spots, unfortunately, than I have in the positive spots. And I think that's just kind of the reality and don't be afraid of that. I think it's about trying this, trying that and being like, oh, I love this 1% of it. And, you know, this one thing, but these 10 things I really don't dig and just take that in and kind of keep pulling that together to, to further and further kind of ebb and flow and figure out what you do want to be doing. And I think it can also change. You know, I think the Slashies culture is amazing because, you know, it used to be like you had to do one thing and you're going to do that forever. And, and that's completely, you know, blown away, which is great.